Hello and welcome to the Cryptocurrency News Channel. Today we're going to talk about Terra Luna Classic. How high could it pump? Um, what it needs to do? How much it needs to burn to reach a dollar? And um, how high could it actually go uh, in terms of market cap? And the thing is, like, we're going to look for parallels for, like, Shiba Inu. Now, it, Terra Classic isn't going to pump in the same percentage as Shiba Inu because, one, um, Shiba Inu actually did pump during the bull market, and we're not in a bull market right now. So that affects a lot of things. Because pumps, regardless of their, like, FOMO pumps or whatever, are much stronger in the bull market than the bear market. And, two, uh, Shiba Inu started off actually at a much, low, uh, much lower market cap. So the current market cap of Terra Luna is $3.2 billion. If I remember correctly, Shiba Inu did pump like into the top 10 um, during the bull market. Now, if we actually look at like top 10, what it is right now, we're going to say around about 12 to 13 billion market cap, like right around the eight, nine type of area in terms of market cap, 12 to $13 billion market cap right now would actually put um, Terra Luna about the same position Shiba Inu was in. Not the same market cap as Shiba Inu, but that was during the bull market, and you can't just equate bear and bull market in terms of like pure market cap. You kind of have to look at the position of the coins. So we're gonna say about 12 to 13 billion market cap, which is around four times what it is right now. So basically Terra Luna Classic, if it kept the supply it had right now, would go to 0 0.002. And that would be like a big boon for a lot of people, a 4X. Now, some of you are saying, well, they're going to burn a lot of the coins and it's going to go into the dollars range, like a dollar range. If they burn a lot of the coins, it could go into the dollars range. Yes, but that means you have to burn your coins as well. Because like, uh, if you want to keep all your coins and depending on other people to burn their coins, then, you know, like everyone's going to think like you and no one's going to burn their coins. So everyone has to pretty much burn their coins proportionally for those big gains. Now, Luna C right now is at 6.1 trillion. Now, to reach a dollar, remember, Luna C is basically all on FOMO. There's very little development itself on Luna C right now. There might be in the future. I'm not counting that out. But right now, it's basically going to be completely dependent on FOMO. And the thing is, you didn't really change the logo or anything for Terra Classic. So people are going to associate with Do Kwon, even though Do Kwon's not really part of the project anymore and hasn't been for a long time. But the thing is, like, I do think for um, I, I do actually think for you to reach a dollar um, or more, uh, I do think you have to get it down to about 10 billion market cap. Now, what does that actually mean? How much do you have to burn um, of your supply to get it to a dollar? So essentially, a 10 billion uh, dollar, a 10 billion circulating circulating supply for, from six trillion is almost 99.9% .9 burn. If you actually uh, go to calculator and you divide 10 billion, that's 100 billion, sorry, 10 billion, not very good at denominating with this thing, that's 10 billion over 6 trillion, 6.1 trillion, 6 billion, 6 trillion you get 0 0.0016. So you would have to burn uh, basically 99.83% essentially of your coins. So essentially, let's if you had, let's say, um, 10 million coins or 50 million coins of Terra Luna, you basically would end up with 81,967 coins of Terra Luna after you burn the amount in proportion with everyone else, but then the price would reach a dollar. So you would basically have $81,961 on your investment. So you wouldn't be able to make millions of dollars, but you would actually have tens of thousands of dollars because if you don't burn, that probably means other people aren't burning either. So you have about $81,967 uh, um, if you burn proportionally. Now, that's still going to be worth a lot more than your 50 million coins right now because even if you burn and the price goes up to a dollar, uh, your 50 million coins right now are only worth you know, $26,000. So technically, you would be getting more like a 3.5x if this actually happened, if you burned in proportion and it went up to a dollar. 
And uh, if you burn in proportion, everyone has that is thinking like that, you would essentially get it down to about $10 billion. I mean, 10 billion coins known as C, and then that uh, price at that point would get to a dollar. And I do actually think that in, at least in the bear, in this bear market, that you have to get the coins down to about uh, $10 billion supply to get to a dollar. If you look at some of the other coins like uh, Cardano, it has roughly, I think, 25, 26 uh, million supply, 40, uh, no, 26, 25 billion supply, 40 billion in total, but not all of it's been released yet. And it's at around 30 cents. And Cardano actually does have a bigger development community around it. So I think like if you look at a $10 billion supply for Luna C, I think you would get maybe a dollar, but that means you do have to burn 99.86% like of it. And basically everyone has to burn that much of their stack in order for it to go down that much. Now you're gonna be saying like some of it's locked in stake, but that's true for a lot of other coins as well. That still counts on CMC as the circulating supply. And I do think people will kind of like follow that script. So I do think there is a lot of gain still to be had from this. And I do actually think, you know, you can get like, um, you know, a three or four X from this. And the thing is like 10 billion at a dollar would be about a $10 billion market cap. If you want to take it to 12 or 13, that's fine. You probably get a little over a hundred thousand um, dollars off like your, if you have like a $26,000 investment in right now at a four X. Now, I think it could actually you could actually get pretty much a 4x just by holding Luna C and then wait for it to go to 0 0.002. But remember, the date for the um, activation of the burn is on the 20th. A lot of people do end up buying the rumors, selling the news. So it might pump until it's pretty close to that date and then drop off. There is a lot of whales coming in and they're probably going to sell at some point or other. But yeah, Luna C can reach a dollar, but you would have to burn everything except for about 10, 12 billion of the supply. And uh, if you burn in proportion, there is still a four, maybe five X to actually be had. That's where I, what I see from Terra Luna Classic. Um, will it go to a dollar if like, you know, no one burns anything? Definitely not. But if people burn like, you know, 99.87% of it, I definitely think it can go to a dollar. And there is still some money to be had. I won't be investing in it myself because these are, Terra Classic is more or less kind of a meme coin now. Um, and it doesn't really have a really strong base of development. It is basically pumped up by pure hype and FOMO. And coins like this are very dangerous. They can go down to zero at any time. So I'm not really willing to take the risk. Now, the, the thing is, uh, Terra Luna Classic has already pumped up by a lot in the last couple of weeks, last couple of months. So it's already pretty high right now. And that's another reason I'm not really going to buy it. But there is money to be made from this still, maybe another four or five X, maybe possibly a 10 X if it goes super high. So that's where I stand right now. Uh, let me know what you think, like, and subscribe. Hit that bell notifications button. Thank you and have a nice day.